All right, guys, Terminator here. Just want to go ahead and say that I've never really done anything like this before on my channel. So if you want to see more of it, leave a like and subscribe. And put down in the comments on if you want a series of this or if you want more videos like this. But let's go ahead and get this thing going. This man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about which he do say. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrammed me is all. You with Dixie Mafia? No, yes, I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucette? He's... He's out at the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Banned Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mom, my mom, my she... Go on, get. He could warn Doucette. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. Ah, good old oh, fashioned 1968 strip club. I wonder how this is gonna go. Ooh, some money. So I'm driving a lot of and we find a ham. Come on, I ain't fucked anyone up. <laughs> well, I'll just have a heart attack to start out the video. Let's just see what's behind door number one. Oh my god. Now let's check door number two. Spread the word. And door number three. We're all dead. Don't you see? We're already gone. Who's that? 
Fatality. Okay, hold up. If you seen something like this, would you sit there? I doubt it. So she's got a point. The only reason I'm walking this route is because my car's in the shop again. Out of the way! Get out of here! Stupid bitch, stay on your side of the road. Oh, what the fuck? What you just witnessed was an illegal traffic move. So the only person that fought was me. So kids, never run a traffic sign. I can still see pretty good. <laughs> what? What do we have going on here? I think we call that sexual assault. Looks like he wants a snack. He can snack on a knife to his throat. Run! Run! Make way! Nice pants, asshole. Get out of here! Boy. Ooh. He just up and run off. Having a good day? Huh? Hell was that?
up in the stadium, man. How you doing, man? Pardon me. You think you're better than me? You ain't better than me! You hear me? Well, damn. Don't hurt me. Please. Time to go kill me a woman beater. Shot. Follow my lead, dipshits. Ready to hit him. Strap some bitch right through. I see you sitting there. Boy, let's see what you got. Got me pinned. How the fuck? What am I supposed to do? Do I hold him? Yep, supposed to hold him. What you gonna do? This. who did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with that! I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it. None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Uh, what was I supposed to do, say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> No, please, please, listen, listen, just decent thing it'd be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. Savage.
When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. Mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him.